Hi and welcome back to another video. In today's video I would like to talk about the Roland EXAP, a six voice uh, polyphonic analog synthesizer of the 80s and also one of the iconic synths that Roland brought out those days along with the Juno and the Jupiter of course. What I like about this synthesizer is that it is a, a very versatile synth. Uh, you can create uh, sounds on it with lots of low end and high end and also you can create a sort of FM sound on it just like a digital synth and that is what I like about this synth. Uh, in this video I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start with a quick overview and then I'm gonna show you the different waveforms on the oscilloscope and at last uh, at the end of the video I'm gonna list up the specifications of the synth so you can uh, take a closer look at it if you like. Uh, to start with the quick overview, uh, it's a two oscillator synthesizer with both oscillators has a, a sawtooth, a pulse wave, a narrow pulse wave and also a noise generator. Both oscillators can be synced, can be cross mode or moderate or can be uh, can do the same time, both of them, cross modulation and sync. Uh, both also is can be set from a, a range of 16 feet to 2 feet. Both can be also uh, modulated with an envelope generator or with an envelope uh, with an LFO. And also the key dynamics can set for both oscillators. Only oscillator two can be fine tuned. Then we have uh, at the mixer section uh, only oscillator two can be modulated with the envelope generator and the key dynamics can be set for oscillator 2. Then uh, at the filter section, uh, the filter is not self oscillating. You have a high pass filter with settings from 0 to 3, so 4 settings for the high pass filter. The filter can be also key followed, can be molded with an envelope generator with an LFO. The key dynamics can be also set for the filter. Then at the VCA, you have a choice between a gate or an um, envelope generator and also the key dynamics can be set. Then you have two envelopes generated on this synth, or both can be key followed, and you have one LFO. Uh, the LFO, you have a choice between a sine wave, a pulse wave, or random. Random is a sort of pulse, um, sample and hold. The other sense you can call it sample and hold. Here they call it random. Um, and the other side here, you have the famous chorus from Roland. A very nice feature to have this, to have this on this synth. On the other side of the synth, you have the aftertouch. And in the aftertouch, you can choose between, you have choice between the vibrato, the brilliancy, or the volume. And then you have also portamento. And the pitch band, you can also set the range of the pitch band. Then the memory section, you have a cartridge with 32 programmable patches. Internally, you have also 32 programmable patches. And you have also 64 factory patches you can choose between. You have also the, at the key mode, choice between six voice polyphonic unison that means two voices at the same time and solo all six voices at the same time then it behaves as a, like a, a mono synth um, that's it for the synths then to go to the the different waveforms on the synth so you can view it on the oscilloscope I'm going to start with a, a pulse wave. That's a pulse wave. Very nice pulse wave. You have also a sawtooth. And you have and you have also a narrow pulse wave. It's very very narrow. At last a noise generator. Go back to the pulse wave. Then you have here also the high pass filter at zero. Now I'm going to set it at one. Two. And three. 
back to zero. The filter open now. Resonance fifty percent. Full open. Twenty five percent. Seventy five percent. Swipe it. And if I set both oscillators on. Now the famous chorus. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Feel free to like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye.